Good morning, how-to crew, how you do? It's Rusty. Today, we're gonna to be talking about antique bottles. Came across a huge trove of these things. I'm gonna go clean some of them, I'm gonna talk a little bit about them, and then uh, stay tuned for another video coming soon where I'm gonna get these all polished up nice and give you some real good tips on what to look for. Uh, here's some examples of what we're talking about. Some old whiskey bottles, some old uh, soda bottles or beer bottles, and everything in between. Different types of uh, antique perfume bottles, uh, things from drugstores, stuff like that. Come on by. Uh, make sure you uh, subscribe to the channel as well so you'll see indications of when we're doing these videos. We do several of them each week. We're trying to give you as much information as possible to help you make an extra buck here and there. Come on in. Rusty how to. I'm heading on over here guys uh, to uh, this antique store and I'm going to uh, clean a bunch of bottles. Man, this group, they got in like over 300 uh, bottles the, from, you know, around 1900 and all the way back. Uh, some of these bottles are pre-1860. You can tell that by uh, examining the bottom of the base, which I'll show you here in a bit. Uh, but it's a dirty job. I'm gonna get my hands dirty today. Uh, I gotta get these things all sorted. We got a variety of types of bottles here. We got some perfume bottles. We got some um, uh, prescription bottles, stuff from you know, uh, like drugstores or apothecaries. Um, we got some old soda body bottles. Uh, we got some uh, some beer, alcohol, beverage bottles, um, and everything in between. And this is real exciting. Some of them have embossed embossing on the outside of it uh, with words talking about where it's from what it's for others are just plain uh, but I'm excited to get into this stuff uh, I gotta roll up my sleeves a bit um, what we're gonna do first off is we're gonna be uh, going through and scrubbing the dirt off the outside of them and I'm gonna use a, a baby bottle brush and also a toothbrush to get down those narrow necked bottles I'm gonna scrub those suckers out that's kind of phase one is uh, going through and trying to um, scrub off the basic dirt and grime. After that, uh, what I gotta do is, um, what I'm gonna do is let them soak overnight in a bucket, five gallon bucket, with a mixture of water and white vinegar. That vinegar will start to eat at some of that, um, those uh, deposits, some of those mineral deposits that kinda make those bottles cloudy and kinda grimy. And then after that, I'm gonna take and uh, put some, some rock salt along with some vinegar inside and shake them up together and let the uh, abrasiveness of that salt kind of scrape and scratch off some more of that stuff on the inside clean it up a bit more and then the final move for the bottles that I am most interested in the ones I'm gonna take um, and try to resell I've taken a rock tumbler um, a cheap one that I bought from like a Harbor Freight and then I'm going to uh, uh, basically take those canisters that you would normally put the rocks to tumble them I'm gonna take those off and then I'm gonna make myself a little canister uh, probably out of PVC pipe or something like that uh, to uh, it's large enough to put a bottle in and inside that bottle I'll still do a mixture of water and some of that vinegar and then a bunch of copper shavings copper is a really good metal I use like scrubbing brushes with copper uh, to scrub on the glass. It won't damage the glass, but it does work real nicely to scrape some of that stuff off. So I'm going to show you all that stuff in a bit. You stay tuned. Look at all of these old bottles. And I am cleaning every single one of these busters. Look at these. These are Prohibition and Pre-Prohibition era beer and liquor bottles. Come slide down on over here. Take a look at these puppies. These were all dug up out of downtown Asheville, North Carolina last week. I've already cleaned some of them, now they're soaking. You can make real good money with old bottles if you know the right kinds. Take a look, see what you can find out there. here who knows but there is the uh, the pot 
horizontal right here. The New South Brewery and Ice Company. in Middlesboro, Kentucky. A little copper sponge pad. It's really good for getting stuff off of glass bottles. Um, on the outside without damaging the glass. This is a little pill bottle. A little maybe cough syrup or something like that. I just finished up and got home uh, back down to the warehouse that is and uh, I cleaned about 250 bottles today and this is what I end up bringing home with me not too bad uh, I got several different whiskey bottles here um, got some uh, scotch bottles um, got uh, ketchup bottles salad dressing some antique uh, you know um, stuff from like a drugstore and uh, various things. Quite excited uh, about what I got. Some really cool looking old things here uh, with some interesting embossings on them. Um, some old flask. Here's an old, an old whiskey flask here. Um, some old brewing. The New South Brewery and Ice Company. And then some other cool ones. Uh, Schlotterbeck and Foss, Portland, Maine. We're down here in Western North Carolina, so that traveled a long ways to get down here. What do we got here? Harvard Rye. Some really cool old bottles here, guys. Here's a really cool one here. It's a big old bottle. James Buchanan and Company out of Glasgow, Scotland, guys. That's a Scotch bottle. Some really cool stuff. Here's one right here with a neat little arm on it, a glove. The ER Durkee and Company. Then we got some stuff, malted milk. Uh, Horlicks Malted Milk uh, in Racine, Wisconsin. These are going to end up cleaning up real nicely, guys. Uh, but I got to spend some time, do a little bit of more thorough cleaning on these. Um, you can see this right here, and I'm going to do a, a follow-up soon when I get these clean. But these little markings here on the bottom uh, are what uh, is one of the ways you can indicate age on something. Uh, it's the way that they were made, and uh, something like this is indicative that it was made before 1860 because of the way that they held on to the bottle from the bottom there. Uh, it's called Pontal Mark. And uh, so anyhow, I'm going to take uh, this right here, which is uh, it's a rock tumbler, and I'm going to trade out those barrels for something that will hold a bottle. And I'm going to put some, uh, some water and some vinegar and some copper shavings in there. And it's going to scratch it nicely and clean up all of these uh, deposits and mineral deposits and, and all of this kind of stuff here. That, and it'll clean it up nicely. And then I'll get back as soon as I do that and kind of show you what these look like. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, thanks so much for stopping by. Cousins, I hope you have a great week. And a good luck when you're out there looking for stuff to flip. Hope you put a couple extra bucks in your pocket. Take care now. That's Rusty How-To.